staff feng shui, we look not just at the time dimension, but we look how to arrange our space according to changing energies. Ah, that's the secret. Okay, now you can call flying star feng shui suan kong feng shui because it is one of the more powerful branches of suan kong feng shui. And by the way, suan kong feng shui has many different branches. You can use suan kong to even make destiny analysis. Some feng shui masters focus on suan kong as a destiny analytical tool. Okay, so for me, I would much rather focus on a skill, on a, com uh, on a formula that actually works, that's easy to apply. You do it this way, you follow it, you follow the changes, you capture the formula, you do it and it works. And it works. Now, how do I know it works? Because when I'm sick and I kill the, fl the, the, the flying star, illness star, I actually get well. I put a cure and I get well. Okay. Like, for example, when I have the five yellow, which is a misfortune star in, in flying star feng shui, and it flies into my bedroom, and I put a cure there, it works. And before I put the cure there, I was having all kinds of bad luck. Everything goes wrong. Setback, obstacle, quarreling with people. The minute you put the cure there, it sorts itself out. For me, it's about reducing the aggravations of my life and also sometimes these aggravations are so important because if it happens on a day when you are having a very important meeting or an interview and it hits you, boy oh boy, the effect can be life transforming, can be life changing and that is how we should use Flying Star and that is how I will teach you to use Flying Star, okay? now. Flying star is also the perfect formula to learn for city living, for urban living. Why? Because it's very accurate, it's very methodical, it's almost like a cookbook approach you take. What do you do? How do you do it? How do you start analyzing your feng shui based on flying star formula? How do you use the compass? How do you demarcate the sectors? I will teach you all these things how you use the compass, even reading the compass, even getting the right compass. We've made it so easy because you see, I went Harvard. I learned how to do business. I said to myself, what does anybody need to do all this? Make all these tools available. So I systematically got these tools available. On top of that, you need the cures and the enhancers. And so I systematically did research in these things, found the sources of supply to make these products and made them available to the world and make it easy. Because what's the use of using Flying Star if you don't know how to correct it? It's not just about shifting your furniture. It's about placing cures and enhancers. And from that point of view, the flying star that I subscribe to, that I teach, that I propagate, okay, is practical. It is easy to learn. It is easy to use, okay? It deals with both the micro and macro aspects of any space, any dwelling, any home, any office. Everything you learn will apply to your home, apply to your school, apply to the hospital you go to, apply to your workplace, apply to your office. The investment you make, not just in the money you pay, but in the time you spend in learning is well worth it. Because you see, I appreciate that it takes time to learn things, okay? That you have to invest your time to learning. So I make it as easy as possible, as time convenient as possible, as actually value added as possible because I appreciate it when people do it for me, so I want to do this for you as well. And then the most wonderful part about Flying Star is when you start getting incredible results, when you start to say, oh my God, it really works. It's like magic. And then you know after a while you start taking it for granted. And that's what a lot of people do. They take Flying Star Feng Shui or the Feng Shui that I like to teach them for granted. And because I do know it very well, I can teach it to you. I don't need notes. All I do is to tell you about it, but I do need to put it into a systematic format for learning so that your mind absorbs as much as it can.
And I want you to look on it as something that you can learn easily and without too much tension, without you having to be, you, know, you don't have, even have to be really smart about these things. Just have a good heart, a kind heart, a good intention. Do your good feng shui, not just to benefit you, but to benefit your spouse, to benefit your children. I think that's very important, that we have good values, that we bring good values to the learning of feng shui.